hey guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new very 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 requested video so in this video i'm going to talk to you guys all about how i almost got rid of my acne and i say almost because i didn't get rid of it like completely it's not that i have super clear perfect skin right now but it was a hell of a process to get where i am now so yeah if you want to know what i did and what worked for me then keep on watching so a quick disclaimer um i'm going to you know sum up some things that i did to change up my routine my diet my skin care routine and everything um so everything that i did was actually in a I would say a time of like six seven months i started to get acne in december and it was actually like out of nowhere so all the things that i'm going to sum up i did that at the same time so i have no idea what specific thing really worked for me or maybe everything helped a little bit of improving my skin so that is not completely clear to me but still i want to share everything because you know that one thing might be it for you. These are the things that work for me. doesn't mean it's going to work for you. It doesn't mean that it's not going to make it worse. So yeah, just to keep that in mind. So first things first, okay, this is for all my women and men out there who suffer from acne. It is not nice to come up to a person and say, oh my God, what's wrong with you? What happened to your skin? You had clear skin all of your life. You know, what happened to you? Okay, if you're going to give advice after that or, you know, you're going to say like maybe, hey, you know what, a friend of mine had acne and she did uh, this and that and, you know, it helps her out. So maybe you could try that. If you're not going to give her or him advice or whatsoever, it's just so weird. I felt like the whole world was bothered with me having acne. And I do understand where it came from because I've had like clear skin for all of my life. And people ask me, how can you use so much makeup and still, you know, have a clear skin? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I treated my skin like sometimes very bad, you know, so my skin could handle a lot back, you know, like last year. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you that quickly. And you probably I don't know if people with clear skin watches this or people who might say this to someone else, but you get the point. OK, so first things first, I did some I had acne. OK, in December, it started it January, February, March, April. It was all over my face so uh the first thing that i did was i think as usual as everyone i did some research online google whatsoever and i came across uh, a few websites and i read a lot about acne and uh, meanwhile my dm was like full super full with requests on oh my god you should definitely do a facial i see you're suffering from acne we have this we have that blah 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 and of course i understand they all want promotion and some of them were you know very very nice to me because they genuinely wanted me to feel good again about my skin so i ignored that completely i ignored every promotional you know whatever stuff that's there that like oh my god this is going to treat and help you with your acne i didn't do that because i was not in a hurry i was i was very um i personally was very curious like why did i get acne suddenly okay so i did some research and i read a lot about toxic blood i read a, a lot about kind of like an allergic reaction which is different from acne by the way i'm not a therapist or whatsoever or doctor this is just what i read and what helps for me okay um so maybe if i'm if i'm wrong or if i say something wrong please feel free to correct so one of the main things that i read was not to drink a lot of cow's milk or eat a lot of uh products that contain cow's milk so i am not a fan of cow's milk anyway but you know i need my cappuccino i need my coffee i need i'm like my muffins so a lot of things that are sweet like cake and whatever uh, contains cow's milk and it's not that much but i try to avoid cow's milk i actually uh, replace my cow's milk with oat milk which tastes so much better with cappuccino by the way so uh no cow's milk for me i also didn't eat a lot of dairy products so yogurt and whatsoever uh, protein shakes make sure they are like uh, plant-based or vegan or whatsoever um so you know cow's milk contains a lot of hormones uh same goes for soy milk um so try to get rid of those so you actually have to really see it as an experiment and you have to try to like follow all those steps to find out what works for you and yeah it's kind of like it's kind of like you're doing your own research and experiment actually after i replaced my cow's milk with oat milk of course i ate you know 
my cake, my muffins. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't like get rid of it completely. So I didn't see a significant change in my skin or whatsoever, but it did feel, I did feel very good not drinking cow's milk. You know, my stomach wasn't bloated anymore. I got other benefits from it, but you know, my main goal was my skin. So what I did next was I drank a lot of water. I went to, my husband actually went to this local health store where they know so, so, so much about everything you ask and she said to my husband like your wife is I didn't go because I had no time or whatsoever he just went there and he just you know tried to like get some info and she said your wife has toxic blood so actually acne is not a very bad thing because your body is telling you that something is wrong and it just wants to go out you know all the toxic and all the all the dirt in your body like underneath your skin wants to go out either it's going to um, show up on your skin or you you're going to pee it out so that's why you need to drink a lot of water and because the more you pee the more it will float with your pee this is quite a hard video for me to make honestly it's chit chatty english is not my first language but i hope i can make myself clear so i did that too i'm not going to lie i'm not a very good water drinker so it's not like i i drink like three liters of water per day it was more like two sometimes one and a half uh, but more than what i used to so the third thing that i did was i tried to avoid all of the products that i use you know um, as a beauty blogger or whatever you want to call it you get so many products especially like not only makeup products but also skincare products so it's your job to use a lot of products and share with you guys you know and i thought okay i should just quit doing that and in the beginning I felt like oh maybe this is going to help or maybe maybe you know that cream is going to help so I avoid everything and I use only tea tree products so tea tree face wash tea tree oil tea tree toner and everything was tea tree and I wasn't really well known with tea tree because I didn't have oily skin I didn't have a problematic skin but it was very well known to treat acne um, and it did help. I have to say my skin got a little bit dry and I felt like, oh my God, you know, I want to like put butter in, onto my face to make it feel smooth and all. But um, yeah, I used tea tree products and that's where I saw a little bit more of a difference. But still, it was still there. So I recommend using products that work for you. Use three or four products, not more. Don't use, don't go crazy with masks. Try to use natural stuff. And sometimes even natural stuff can cause an allergic reaction. So be careful with that. But tea tree worked for me and I didn't read anything negative about tea tree. The Body Shop has a whole line of uh, tea tree products. They have the toner, they have the night lotion, which is very good. The tea tree oil can be a little bit more on the dry side. You don't have the feeling that, you know, your skin is looking smooth and all. So they also have a night lotion, which is a little bit thicker and more on the creamy side that you put on before you sleep and I really liked that one and I was really happy that there was something creamy in the whole line of the tea tree products. A quick summary, try to eat and drink less dairy products, uh, drink more water and use tea, tea tree products and don't go crazy and experiment with a lot of new products. So around April I went uh, to LA, it was on a press trip with NYX Cosmetics and honestly my skin got so bad so bad that was the first time that i kind of felt insecure about my skin so of course i knew i had acne but it was this was really bad and it hurt a lot i had so many bumps on my face especially around my chin area and it just hurt you know you couldn't really see it on the surface but it was underneath my skin and i felt like it wanted to go out but it couldn't so it didn't really show up to the surface as soon as the light hit me you could see all those bumps i had so many little bumps which i still have a little but not as much as oh, then it was it was the worst so this sounds really weird but i was actually glad that i got acne and very bad acne so i know i definitely know how women and men can feel about acne and you know you just as a person who has clear skin you don't really understand you're like well yeah you know it kind of sucks but you just don't know how it feels and how that person feels you have this feeling that everyone is staring at your skin i am actually a very secure person i don't feel insecure very easily but oh my god it hit me in the face and it was hard because you know you're with a lot of beauty bloggers and you are invited because you are 
doing this this job so it was hard you know it's it would be weird not to put any product on my face and just show up to an event like completely you know uh, without makeup so I had to and I was trying to cover it up but the sun was so bright and I didn't feel beautiful I almost felt like people you know were kind of like oh my god it's so gross her skin looks gross I felt like everyone was looking at my skin you have to really believe that it's not true that not everyone's looking at your skin because you have acne you just see a person with acne you're like okay you see it you know you, we have to be honest you see it but it's not like um that you're staring at it because it's just there and you're like yeah whatever uh after that i had a i had kind of like a mini mental breakdown and i said to my husband oh my god i did everything that i could i don't understand what it is maybe it's the climate maybe it's the water maybe it's the food i have no idea so you know what so i said to him you know what i'm going to stop taking my birth control because some people said to me you know what it can be your birth control and i had this mini birth control uh, it doesn't contain a lot of hormones, especially not female hormones, feminine hormones, if I say that correctly. So a lot of people were telling me, you know, I was completely fine with my birth control until suddenly I had breakouts. I had um, mood swings and whatsoever. I didn't have mood swings at all. It was just my skin. But you know what? I thought, you know, F it. I'm going to stop a birth control pill and to see what happens. After I've done that, it went better but you know the hormones are still in your body so you're not going to see a huge difference immediately but you know to be sure i just stopped it i didn't think it was worth it to hold on to something and not knowing if that is the thing that causes acne for example so i quit taking that and it went a little bit better the next thing that i did i think it was uh in the same month or the month after that and this was actually my last option i know this option was there the whole time but i didn't want to make it very easy for myself and just go out and find some chemical product and put it on my face to get rid of the acne. I just wanted to know what caused it. But unfortunately, no one can tell, even though I went to the doctor and, you know, he said, like, we have 20,000 options. What can cause your acne? We can't really, you know, go deep and research everything. He said it can be makeup. I, I could. I was so scared. I thought, you know, maybe it is makeup. But then I stopped using makeup for one or two weeks and it didn't get less or whatsoever. And I actually was so happy about that. I was just like, oh, if it's makeup, then what do I do, you know? So I went to my local pharmacy and I asked for benzoyl peroxide. But this is a chemical product and it smells like bleach and it also bleaches. So you have to be careful with pillows and with your clothes and, you know, all that stuff. But this really, really helped and um you know the thing that i like about this cream is that even though i know it's you know not really good for your skin and you have to know that it dries out your skin completely like completely and it dries out so bad that your skin is so itching i can see like skin like flakes going on and it itches so 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 bad it looks really you know you can see the thick um structure from your skin because it's so dry um so you have to know that but it did help and i really like the fact that this contains a ingredient that kills all the other bacteria around these spots so let's say you know i have a few spots here it's just you can use it on those spots but you can use it on your whole face as well to prevent new spots you know and that's what i like so i didn't want to be in that circle where you're constantly getting new spots and then you have to like put this cream like 24 7. i i think i used it for one or two weeks and it went away but i'm not saying that you know before i used this it was already quite okay but it was not you know i wanted to get rid of those last big spots that were like annoying me so much so that's the last thing i did and after this i used yeah i used nothing i didn't change anything i do have to say i am vegetarian for just a month now i didn't see any significant change on my face or whatsoever but the month is very short some people say that uh meat can be uh, bad for your skin as well i also had a friend and she said i had very bad acne as well and she started using skincare products from the ordinary which is i think a very affordable skincare brand i haven't used anything of them but it's you know uh, her experience i thought you know i would mention it because it might be helpful for you other than that honestly people say you have to get you have to quit sugar which is probably a good thing to do but i'm just 
which is very bad. I'm a little bit of a sugar addict. I can't, I, I can't put my macarons and donuts away. But I did try to eat less. Didn't really help. So I'm not going to say, oh my God, I quit sugar and I had this very healthy lifestyle. Let's go through everything once again because I talk too much and I go from here to there. Okay, so dairy products, water, tea tree products, birth control, um, benzoyl peroxide, which is that product. And another thing is I really wanted to touch my skin a lot. So I touched it. It gotten worse and worse and worse. So this sounds gross, but if you have spots, you know, the white mm, pimples and you want to get rid of them because they're like in your face, please put some alcohol on your hands. Try to be very clean and very hygienic. Um, so don't touch your face all the time because you touch something else and then you touch your face and you have no idea, but there are so many bacterias and bad bacterias on your fingers although i know that it's you know very hard not to touch your face so those are the things that i did if you have like super good advice for people who have acne who suffer from acne please uh comment it because you know it can be very helpful i definitely know how you feel another thing that i would quickly would like to add is that i didn't feel less beautiful if you know what i mean there was this time in april you know when i was in la that i felt a little bit insecure but it didn't really make me feel less beautiful I, f I just felt like the whole world was watching and i felt like some people might find it a little bit gross you know while we're eating or whatsoever but on the other hand i didn't feel like oh my god i'm not pretty anymore i kept talking to myself like okay you're a beautiful girl you just have acne okay so there's nothing wrong with it it's completely normal we have it as well don't look at all the face tuned photos and videos or whatsoever it's completely normal to have it and you know what you're a human do your own research find out what works for you what what doesn't work for you try to experiment with food if you're eating strawberries every day try to not eat it to see what happens or you know same goes for every product you eat every day still have some spots left which is like on my forehead a little bit of scars i don't have anything for the scars yet but you know what that was my last worry because i was like you know let's get rid of those big bumps also if you're not comfortable wearing no makeup i do have a video how i cover all of my spots that are still left on my face and you know what i'm not bothered by it i don't strive for this perfect flawless skin i don't do like i don't put in you know a hundred percent effort to get to that skin i just feel like you know if i have just normal skin if i don't have these huge bumps which are maybe like in everybody's face i just don't mind so yeah i hope you find this video helpful if someone is suffering from acne try to make them feel good instead of like hey oh my god what happened to you bae what happened to you don't forget that you are beautiful you're human and we women we have our hormones okay so keep that in mind don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and follow me on my other social channels and i will see you in my next video bye